Hey fellow Vault Wearers, it's Angry Turtle and today I have another build for you. This time is explosive build. Everything that explode and actually it will be a loadout for my main. It's a third loadout then unfortunately you can have only two equip, but you can always swap it when you need. But before we start, I would like to send my thanks to all my supporters on Patreon and on YouTube. Thanks to you, it's possible for me to do a lot of uploads and do what I love. Because since you all started supporting me so much, I didn't took a single overtime at my job. And I have so much more time to do videos on YouTube about Fallout. Therefore, thank you so much from my turtle heart to you. And as well, I want to welcome my latest supporters on Patreon. Those are Elder Mr. Burke, Paul Picardo, and Brie Eloise. Thank you a lot for joining. Thank you, guys. And now, let's jump into the video. First, that's my default special distribution for this build before legendary perks, but I have only two legendary special cards I will show you now, then it's not too much added. Those are my legendary perk cards. I will not stop for too long on them. This is my main build. You already know what I'm using. There's a lot of quality of like perks and other. If you can drop like one of quality perks in here and add additional special, that will be really helpful as you will be able to add like a gunsmith on top of that build that I'm not using. But yeah, that's my main and I love quality of life pair cards. They do not interfere with my adventures in the game. They are helping then I'm not gonna change it for now. Maybe later if I will have a lot of points, I will be swapping like Master Infiltrator in and out. But yeah, that's expensive, then not, not now. And now about actual perks that we are using here. We're going for reduced weight of camps. I always have a lot of those. I have a lot of heavy guns and especially explosive ones. The launchers are very heavy. Then bear arms is almost a must on this build. Unless you limit yourself to like one or two guns. Then we have lock and loaded. Incredibly important in case of launchers as they reload slowly and they cannot hold too much ammo, rackets or mini nukes. And Ordnance Express, yes, all this ammo is extremely heavy, it will be hard without it. Then that's that's what we have under strength, no heavy gunner perks, as those are not benefiting launchers, with exception of Hellstorm missile launcher, that's a weird one. Under Perception we have Concentrated Fire, and usually we'll be aiming for the torso, but it's still in a here in case we want to aim for leg. If you are fighting big enemies, you want to aim for legs to do damage with explosives. And we have Grenadier as... It is explosive build, then all those grenades that I'm picking up left and right, I'm gonna use. And Endurance, we have only seven here, but we'll be playing with full health. I didn't heal my rats yet, but I, I intend to use this build a lot as a full health. Then we have Life Giver and Fireproof, and seven Endurance with those packs should be enough to keep us alive at all times. Under Charisma, we have Party Boy. This is required to get our accuracy in VATS, thanks to Sweetwater Special Blend, then Inspirational for some more experience, trenching numbers to be mutations. Under Intelligence, yes, Stabilized is working with launchers, then we have it in here, and you can drop it if you'll be using this build without power armor, although I really like how those launchers look when you carry them in power armor, then I did my best to make this build work well with power armor. It can be used without, I just decided to go with power armor. And of course, the key perk for damage, Demolition Expert, it's a must have. And yes, I'm carrying a lot of fusion cores, then there is batteries included. If you can toss in Gunsmith, it will be great because currently weapon durability is broken again and they are breaking way too fast. It was fixed and it's broken again. Under Agility, as we are using power armor, there is not too much what we can do to get our AP up and running faster. Then we have Action Boy. 
We have through hiker for our food buffs, born survival, just in case it's not even necessary, that's a full health build, but it's here, and adrenaline to increase damage. Normally I would run with rank 1 adrenaline, but as there is not too much stuff that can boost damage of explosives, then max out adrenaline seems to be a perfect choice. Someone is sharing Ganfu. Generally I'm not using Ganfu with my explosives and I do not wait until those explosives hit the target and explode and kill it to swap a target. I, I exit the VATs and manually retarget other target. Then, then yeah, Ganfu normally not in use. Someone sharing, that's fine. Under luck, we have Grim Reaper Sprint again to get AP back and up. And then Class Freak Star is good with Salt. This is my standard loadout to keep my buffs and mutations on top of their game. And Bloody Mess to increase damage of those explosives a little bit more. That's especially important as we'll be running as a full health. And I'm full health now, but before we start demonstrating those weapons, let me show you what I'm actually using. And what I have here, it's two shot missile launcher with quad barrel to increase the ammo capacity and targeting computer. This is mainly for fun. Like this weapon is not a main weapon, but it's a fun weapon. That's the most important. Only one star, but in case of all launchers, the only thing that really matters is to have a two shot. Nothing else really matters as much. Then I have two shot broad cider that's mainly for armor farming during daily ops, but it's super fun weapon, super cool weapon. The only downside, the explosion radius is really small. Then, yeah, unfortunately really small. And no, Grenadier is not increasing radius of explosions from weapons, only from throwable grenades. And Tesla rifle is like an exception for whoever, no what reason. Then that's two shot broad cider. And with this weapon quite often you will need to target legs due to these small explosions. We have a swell two shot fatman. This is a lot of fun weapon. <laughs> that's a that's another fun weapon. It's not the most useful, like surprisingly, the most useful ones are broadsider and of course two shot auto grenade launcher. That's that's our core weapon. This is the everyday use weapon with every explosive build. That's doing a lot of damage and ammo is relatively cheap compared to like mini nukes or missile. Then this is our loadout and of course any grenades that we pick up left and right will do as you know there is a lot of damage as this is explosive build. About the power armor I'm wearing, I'm wearing X01. Only reason I'm not using Excavator is because Excavator do not offer VATS Matrix Overlay and X01 does have this mod for helmet, then that's why I went for X01 extra accuracy in VATS in power armor. That's, that's a unique feature for only selected power armors. Not Excavator, unfortunately. Of course, calibrated legs for carry weight, uh, arms doesn't matter, there's nothing helpful there. And for the torso, we have core assembly to have a consistent AP refresh, as we need more AP with this build, we need more AP. About common consumables with this build, we are using corn soup for AP refresh. We are using mute fruit juice for more agility, what in effect give us more AP pool. And we are using tato juice for more AP. And with those free consumables under food, you are good. You are good with your AP. Now about mutations I'm using, that's a standard loadout that I'm using on my main and it works perfectly fine with almost any build. And yes, I have adrenal reaction that's not really necessary on full health build, so obviously it does nothing, but whenever I drop some health, it's already benefiting me and cost is like a little bit of HP, don't look at 50. It just bug out on display and not include class freak. With class freak it's much less and we do have class freak, then I'm not losing my, much AP. You can see my HP is 388, I'm good with HP. Then I don't think there is much reason to discuss all those mutations, just here to show you them. And the only thing that I will mention, if you are not playing on the team, if you are a solo player, then don't take Empath or her, uh, or her mentality. But otherwise, just copy those. It's a perfect mutation set for almost every range build. And now let me show you how fun this build is. I will start with a missile launcher and that's the one that I'm using without VATS because you can target enemy, then shoot up <laughs> those missiles. Oh, not always hitting the target, but they're supposed to. 
Yeah, they missing today. <laughs> they supposed to. <laughs> Usually it is fun to use it like that as they are hitting the target. Not always. You can see they have like I think limited amount of turn they can do. But direct hits killing those Scorch. The, that's a missile launcher. You can do it on Scorch Beast as well. And unfortunately, as you will notice, it's like not doing much damage for whatever reason. Those missile if aim at Scorch Beast. Like sometimes they do damage, sometimes they do nothing. Like now they did. But nevertheless, it's look fun. And as I said, Missile launcher is a fun weapon. I have nice paint for it and it's always hilarious when people see you running with a missile launcher. For the actual use case, we have two shot grenade launcher and look what that is doing to this Scorch Beast. You just launch those grenades, <laughs> they hit her. It doesn't even matter if she tried to run away. She will get hit with those, no matter what she's doing. Then that's definitely a fun build and clearing regular mobs is not a problem. They die without much issue okay let's switch the fissure and there is as well as something hilarious you can do when you have your critical ready this our yeah our critical is ready then now we can swap for mini nukes two shot fatman and now you need critical as hit chest is usually low oh i need to reload and critical and shoot and look what what those mini nukes are doing look at that look at that <laughs> An explosion. See that it's the most hilarious thing. That's why I love explosive build. Like what's going on when you launch those nukes? Like uh, two flies following the scorch beast. That's that's how those nukes are working. And our grenade launcher broke. And you were able to see that I killed the scorch beast way after I stopped shooting. <laughs> then yeah, that's the case as well. And usually I don't pay attention to my health as I have born survival and it will just trigger when my health will drop and how to deal with enemies that are close you basically need to jump and shoot before you are actually on top that before you will stop falling down you need to shoot if they are really close to prevent killing yourself if you do a little damage to yourself it's usually fine the fireproof seems to be doing the job but yeah you still need to be a little bit careful even with high health build sometimes those explosions will do way more damage than they should I don't know why, it's not 100% not consistent. The damage is sometimes just much higher. And why I have grenades as well? It's sometimes you can do like crazy things and see what happened if you toss a grenade and try to target it in VATS with missile launcher or with mini nuke. I will not tell you what happened. You can, <laughs> you can try it. Just some hilarious things that you can do with VATS and with explosive weapons. And as you can see, I'm not running out of AP. Okay, let's do one more fissure. I will try to charge my VATS and target her again with uh, mini nuke. Okay, mini nuke. Give me mini nuke. I need to equip it on quick wheel. <laughs> Two shot Fatman. Okay, come on, get closer. Oh, that's a problem. When she's flying very far away and lose attention, you need to shoot her with whatever weapon can reach her. It's a problem sometimes. I don't know why. Sometimes Scorchbees decide to fly much, much higher. Okay, now I will have her attention and I can swap back to two shot Fatman. Critical invades and look, look at the minukes. Look at the minukes. <laughs> Hit not always doing much damage though. I don't know how the mini nuke explosion is registering, but look at the grenade launcher. Grenade launcher is doing way better. Look at that. Didn't I fire more? Did she get hit or I think two grenades get oh oh you see? <laughs> way after I stopped shooting, okay I need one more. And I think my my Perception buff expired. That's the perception buff. Herbivore, strange in numbers, and the perk under charisma that boosts your alcohols, 15 perception. Yeah, that's 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 how my accuracy is going up. Now I will have that accuracy back. Look at that. Yep. Multiple enemies at one hit. 95% hit chance. Almost no matter where you're aiming. Oh the brute cider. Ah, out of cannonballs. I sold them for other ammo. Okay, the Broadsider, I have dedicated video that you can check out the effectiveness of the Broadsider. I will not go back for ammo now. I think that's enough demonstration to encourage you to try this loadout. If you have like a heavy gunner build or any build with, with ability to swap around, if you have any like two shot weapon to use, it's super fun. Come on, critical. Hit him. Boom. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, that's really fun. It's really fun to use those explosive weapons. I really like it. The main reason I'm saving ammo points is to buy Messiah mini nukes and 40mm grenades. That's what I'm usually saving my ammo points for, as crafting this stuff is expensive, using ammo converter to buy it, it's not so, and it gives some reason and purpose for ammo converter to exist in its kind of broken state, it's not easy to use. And here you have it guys, my explosive build, let me know what you think, I'm pretty sure you are able to do some upgrades in here, for me, this build and the point of existence for this build is having a lot of fun in Fallout 76, doing something totally different, as you can see, it's effective. It's not like this build is not effective. You can kill anything on the map. Not as great on the bosses, but if you target a leg for the Colossus fight with a grenade launcher, you should be doing just fine. Like, you will still do a lot of damage. Not as much like with a flamer, but still a lot of damage if you really want to. And now as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.